I picked up the phone, dialed the numbers that were given to me. My heart caught in my chest just before, hello? Hi, is this Jessica? Yes. Hi, Jessica. Uh, my name is Patricia. Now, I met you a few days ago at the clinic. I just wanted to give you a follow-up call and let you know that your test results have come back. And while you tested negative for syphilis and gonorrhea, gonorrhea you did test positive for chlamydia. Jessica stopped. I'm sorry, what did you say? Now, with chlamydia, you will need to take some medication and to ensure you discuss this with any sexual partners you might have. I went ahead and filled a prescription for you. Our pharmacy is open Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and then we're closed Sunday. Do you have any questions for me? Who the hell is this? She screams in my ear. Like I said, my name is Patricia. I put the phone down while the voice on the other line screamed profanities at me. I covered the mouthpiece. Can I just hang up now? I asked him. No, tell her. He was sat across from me, laughing, giggling into a pillow. She's already pissed. Can I please just hang up? We start whispering and mouthing profanities and sending hand gestures back and forth to each other. Oh, one more thing. Now, usually they tell you this at arrival, but it turns out you're pregnant. Congratulations, and I wish you all the best. I slammed the phone down. My brother burst out laughing. As he became more and more attractive in high school, he started doing, he started dating more and more girls, which meant more and more of the female young adult population in the surrounding cities were subject to his prank calls, or my prank calls. He would make me prank call ex-girlfriends, ex-friends, girls who bullied him in junior high, boys who bullied him in junior high, teachers who bullied him in junior high, anyone with the trait of a bully, anyone that he thought just needed a little bit of a panic. My brother was the ultimate prankster, and I was always the sidekick that went begrudgingly along. In the middle of summer, we put washing powder in the town fountain and bubbles spewed everywhere over the cement. He would make me break into his friends' houses and we would toilet paper them while they slept. As the years went on, the pranks grew more and more ridiculous. We became more and more competitive. Once, I parked his car on someone's roof. Another time, he moved all of my furniture out of my room. To this day, I have no idea where he put it or how he got it back in. He had to go on a Friday, a day where everyone decides to blow off some steam. I found out at eight o'clock, I cried, my parents cried. My mother couldn't even speak. My father could hardly put sentences together. So I made the calls. I dialed the numbers and waited for the dial tone to ring. Hello? Hey, uh, is, this, is this Dominic? Yeah, who's this? It's Ashley, Tyson's sister? The background noise was loud. Who? I started screaming into the phone. This is Ashley, Tyson's sister? Yeah, what's up, Ash? Uh, I, I just called to tell you that um, Tyson passed away? What? Tyson, he, he, he passed away. Nah, man, nice try. Put Tyson on the phone. No, seriously, Dom, um, Tyson, he went to sleep and he, he didn't wake up. Dominic bursts out laughing. Typical Tyson. He screams out to all of his friends, sarcastically, hey guys, Tyson's supposedly dead. They all burst out into drunken laughs. Dom kept laughing a while before he got back on the line. So seriously, where is he? I think his body is at the morgue. All right, well, when you hear from him, let me know. Take care, Ash. The phone hung up. I called the next person, Nick. He was also drunk. I should make cash. What's going on? You and Tyson coming to party with us or what? Uh, Nick, um, Tyson's gone. What do you mean gone? Oh, well, he went to sleep last night and he didn't wake up. <laughs> Nick laughed. Solid. Was he kidnapped? Is he with Biggie or Tupac? I hung up the phone. I sat down on the curb outside my parents' house. Maybe it was a big joke. Maybe he was going to jump out of the corner and scream, gotcha, at any second. I started to dial another phone number. This, this was my karmic revenge. Having to sit on the phone for 30 minutes trying to convince my brother's friends that he'd gone. He joined the 27 Club. I had to convince them because he made life a practical joke. And I wouldn't have changed it, not any of it, not for one second.